Do you think that India can become the next hotbed for uh, autonomous vehicles? Uh, I think it's a catalyst for the the transformation uh, to come. How important is this 3D designing in the automotive world? How is uh, the Dassault system uh, uh, partnering with the Indian automobile industry? You know, we are deeply investing in uh, India. India's automotive industry is the fourth largest car maker hai and in this success, mein sirf OEMs and partner companies bhi lagti hai. Isi pe baat karne ke liye aaj mere hai Olivier Sapin who is the CEO at Katia Dassault System. So Olivier, thanks for talking to Jagran. I'll start by asking that India is quickly becoming a global phenomenon. You know, we are the fourth largest uh, market right now. How is uh, Dassault System uh, uh, partnering with the Indian automobile industry? Oh, you know, with India, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a story that started uh, many years ago. You know, we are uh, deeply investing in uh, India. Uh, we say uh, design in India for India and design in India for the world. Uh, so we have a huge uh, team of uh, experts uh, in many disciplines, mechanical, electronic, software uh, that are here. And uh, one of our core sector that we serve is, uh, is automotive. How important is this 3D designing in the automotive world? I, I think it's a catalyst for the, the transformation uh, to come. Okay. Uh, you know, if you look at uh, the global trends, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's the same in India, we have a very big competition where uh, new companies um, uh, are you know bringing new practice, a uh, new way of developing cars, reducing cycle time. Uh, so uh, it's not anymore a question of competitiveness in the past, it's a question of will actors survive. Uh, in, so we need a new approach, we need a transformation. And this transformation relies on um, capacity to model virtual twin. Right. It means before uh, you get any physical prototypes, which is very costly and uh, need time to test validate. Uh, you need a virtual twin right. uh, to imagine uh, what will be the, the final product, the final experience you are delivering to consumer. And uh, this virtual twin is able to also to bring all the disciplines together because now you know that uh, automotive is day, we call it software defined vehicles. Right. It's much more than uh, right. an assembly of mechanical uh, components together. It's very much uh, about uh, having uh, software in the car to be able to upgrade. And so if you want to um, uh, design, simulate, produce, uh, operate uh, such a vehicle, uh, you need a, a strong asset and we think Virtual Twin is, the, is one of the catalysts of, of this change. For the past few years, we have been seeing that India is pioneering uh, the electric technology. We have companies like Tata and Mahindra taking the electric vehicles to the next stage. Uh, how do you see this uh, EV market of India? I mean, uh, the EV market uh, is growing and uh, what is uh, really good in India is you have a mix of uh, traditional car maker, which are progressing quite quickly on, uh, on SDV. Um, right. As we have heard this morning, you know, uh, Mindra has a huge transformation with this project called Vian right. uh, to build uh, the next electric, uh, battery electric vehicles, uh, including software defined vehicles, uh, thanks to the virtual twin. Uh, so here what we are doing is uh, we have put our next generation solution to build, to model and simulate the virtual twin. So our 3D Xons platform, as well as several brands like Ketia and Simulia to model and simulate. So it's basically helping um, uh, Mindra to, uh, to advance into future uh, scenarios. Uh, if I take a pragmatic example, ADAS. You know, okay. you have more and more uh, ADAS, level two, level three, into your car to help you while driving, to assist you. Uh, those complex ADAS, it's a uh, right uh, assembly of uh, hardware and software put together. There is a lot of things to validate across many scenarios. Those scenarios are, you, you have to be certified, homologated. Uh, so uh, uh, we, we really use our platform here for the complete uh, ADAS development from the very first inception to the homologation 
test. You mentioned ADAS. ADAS is a very critical component of autonomous driving. We've been seeing, we have been seeing that many countries globally are experimenting with autonomous technology. Do you think that India can become the next hotbed for autonomous driving given the sheer number of cars that uh, uh, move around in India? I really think so because if you look globally, you know, uh, uh, ADAS, autonomous driving, uh, electrification has been a big trend. Uh, you know, 15 years ago, we started with Tesla, uh, right. which is completely using our platform for everything they do. Then we had uh, uh, many new startups in the US, in Europe, uh, in, in, uh, in Asia, especially a lot of them also in, in China. And I saw uh, India is playing a pivotal role right. on uh, software defense vehicle. Uh, first of all, because you have the skills here mm -hmm. locally, uh, people understand exactly what it takes to do uh, software defined uh, uh, products. Also because um, many of our um, engineers mastering uh, uh, the virtual twin modeling and simulation uh, with Katia, with Simulia from the system system are, are, sit are sitting here in India. It's not only OEM uh, like uh, MindRise, also uh, many uh, engineering service companies. Right. Uh, startups, uh, suppliers, uh, so you have a full ecosystem here uh, of, uh, uh, so that you can design the great, great new cars for the Indian market but also, also globally. globally right. And lastly, how important uh, is the automotive sector as a whole in the smart city project of the government of India and how is uh, Dassault contributing to the same? I mean, I'm glad you, you bring that point because we discuss automotive, which is our uh, uh, one of the main uh, sector we serve. But that's the system serve manufacturing on which automotive and mobility is part of it. But we serve infrastructure as well, right. um, energy infrastructure, road, uh, civil infrastructure, railway, and we serve also life sciences. So the same way we do the virtual twin of the car, right. we do the virtual twin of a heart of a human. We do the virtual twin of a, a complex infrastructure like a nuclear plant. So the same technology you see, which is relying on uh, strong science and technology, is used for multiple purposes. Okay. And so, and, and we are really learning from, uh, uh, from different sectors. So when we talk about developing cars or developing mobility in a smart city, it's all about system of system, you know, when you consider uh, a city and all the infrastructure, the mobility, uh, this system approach is, uh, is, is critical. Right. Well, thank you for talking to Jagran and I really wish the best to the all systems so that uh, India gets more of your technology and we see smarter and uh, AI uh, driven automotive industry in the future. Uh, I you. wish you the best as well and uh, we are very pleased to uh, get stronger and stronger in India. Thank, thank you. you very much.